Hey guys, I uh, wanted to show you something that I've been working on. Here I've got a PIC 16F1454 microcontroller. Um, it's in a 14 pin TSSOP package. They also come in dips as well. And it's an interesting chip because um, not only is it really cheap, uh, you know, around a dollar each, but it's also got a USB interface which, um, you know, is kind of a cool thing. Uh, so I bought a couple of these to play around with them because uh, they're really small and they just happen to fit on a, a small board that I'm working on. But um, I'm pretty new to the PIC ecosystem and I have to say that using one of these things is not the greatest user experience. Um, you know, coming to the PIC world from someone who's more familiar with ARM development and AVR and, you know, Arduino, things like that. Uh, you know, the state of open source tools and kind of hobbyist friendly tools for PICs, um, you know, I, I would say that they're not on par with uh, those for the other uh, more popular microcontroller platforms in the maker world. So, you know, I've been using this thing for a while and eventually I just kind of got fed up with it. So now I no longer have a need for this thing because I wrote a bootloader for the PIC 16F1454 uh, N55 and 59 that works over USB. So here I've got the chip. It's uh, connected to my Mac via another little USB micro B breakout board. Um, and I've just got it connected to an LED through a resistor and uh, five volts for power. I could power it through USB, but I've chosen to use my power supply. And when I power it on, we've got a slow blinking LED. And if I want to, uh, if I want to change that, if I want to make that LED blink a little bit faster, uh, I can reprogram the chip. So first, I'll just uh, shut that power off. Um, let's go over to the Mac over here. Um, I've got the delay value set to something like 240,000. Let's make that 60,000. And let's uh, power up the board while I'm holding down this button. This will be tricky to do one-handed. Uh, I'll try to make it interesting. Maybe not. All right. The, uh, the LED comes on, it's actually really dim because there's a, uh, a pull-up resistor uh, in the pick on the port that the LED is connected to. So that's sort of an unintended uh, side effect, I guess. Uh, no big deal. But if we go over here to the uh, USB prober and I hit refresh, we can see that uh, it presents itself as a CDC device, in other words, a virtual COM port or uh, USB to serial interface. And we've got all our lovely descriptors here. Um, you know, all these numbers and settings and descriptors and USB is just kind of ridiculous if you ask me. Um, but anyway, uh, through all this, you can access it as if it were like an FTDI cable or a serial adapter. So you can connect to it with screen or hyper terminal or, you know, Pi serial or anything else. It just writes to a standard serial port. And I wrote a Python script that takes an Intel hex file and uh, uploads it to this chip. And we can uh, basically just run that by calling make flash. And now we can see that the LED is blinking much faster. So it's now running the new code and the device uh, automatically resets when it's finished programming. So um, yeah, it works. It's pretty great. It fits into 512 words, um, which is uh, 1 16th of the um, PIC 16F1454 memory. Um, a lot of the other bootloaders that do similar things are, you know, written in C and they take up 4K or 2K. So this one might be uh, might be the smallest USB bootloader that uh, that I've seen. I'll be releasing the code for it uh, sometime this week. Uh, stuff on GitHub, sample code, sample projects. Uh, it's really, really bare bones. Um, 
but it's enough to uh, get the job done, I guess. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Thanks for watching. See you guys.